Good morning. I'll call the museum committee to order and I'll uh, remind everybody it's your responsibility to declare a pecuniary interest if you have one. Uh, we have one action item and uh, five items just for information. So we will start with the action item, which is the request for transfer of reserve funds. Okay. Thank you so much, Chair. Um, so in regards to the action item, let's just bring it up here. Um, it is an action item, a request to transfer of uh, funds from a reserve account. So the, um, we launched the um, uh, Riding the Rails exhibition July of this year. And as Council knows, this was a three-year commitment that we had met, uh, made uh, for this uh, exhibition starting in uh, 2016. So we were successful in uh, achieving some of the goals in regards to the target for um, funding this. Um, unfortunately, we weren't successful in uh, a grant application to AgriSpirit, which was to fund the balance. Um, in conjunction, we also had some reserve uh, funds put aside uh, for that potential in case we weren't successful. We did uh, successfully uh, receive money from the Southampton Rotary and again uh, reached out to all the other Rotary clubs but at this time um, we hadn't um, hadn't secured the balance. So in order to make sure that we have uh, our budget balance for the end of the year uh, we're asking for the transfer uh, to complete um, this budget. Thanks Kathy. Read the recommendation. Uh, can I have a mover and a seconder? Anne and second by Milt. Are there any questions or comments on this motion saying none all in favor thank you that's okay. carried thank you we'll go on to the information items so information items again we have our uh, business and sponsorship report um, successfully have uh, achieved the um, fifteen thousand dollar ask to the Canadian cultural spaces for work on the 1878 schoolhouse um, a new funder that's come on board this year sponsoring some of our um, cultural type of programs and then of course there's a list of items that are pending for our 2019 budget so we're already uh, progressing in, in order to get that secured for the 2019 budget. Um, in regards to the collections report, uh, the first uh, slide that or picture that you'll see here <clears throat> is what the current state and actually it's it's even uh, more empty or kind of under construction uh, right now but this is the work that uh, started the end of August we were uh, taking out of course all of the collection items all the artifacts and uh, starting to put those into storage while we do the demolition of this exhib exhibition hall um, we're currently um, the exhibition hall should be completed in terms of the construction um, by the end of this week um, and then we will start um, moving some of the new components in so just to look at the uh, kind of the empty gallery and the, and the work that's progressing um, we will be we are on schedule to open this exhibition November 3rd <clears throat> Again, a uh, couple of new exhibits that we've brought in for this year. This is the uh, Rolly Fenwick exhibition. It's called Powell Emanations, and it is an art exhibition uh, that has um, uh, picturing or depicting uh, powwow dancers from both uh, Saugeen and from Cape Croker. And also an in-house exhibit that was created uh, called Victorian Hang-Ups about uh, symbolism and sentiment. And these are all wreaths from the collection themselves. So both of these exhibitions, Powell um, Emanations, will be on until the end of November. And the um, wreaths show the Victorian Hang-Ups will be up until the end of December of this year. Currently as well, we've had... Uh, We've been fortunate to have two co-op students working with us, one over the summer months and one again now for the fall semester term. Um, so there's just some an image of uh, one of the things that the, st the summer student was working on, helping us, assisting us with that online collection, that Past Perfect Online. Um, so that was a project for the summer student and the um, uh, fall student that we have right now is also working on uh, digitization as well as assisting us with uh, tear out of the exhibit and getting prepped ready for the new exhibition. So lots of, of work in the uh, collections area this fall. In regards to the outreach, uh, we're in our, I think it's our fifth season of our session for our Museum Munchkins program, uh, which again is a, a preschool program. Uh, we've been working with the library on this program as well. And you'll see there we have one of our library staff um, <clears throat> people assisting with that program. Upcoming events for uh, for the fall time frame, you see, again, we're busy with school events the, or the PD Day events, night at the museum, the children's sleepover, a Halloween special, and also in regards to Remembrance Day, we have our um, <clears throat> diorama maker, who we work with quite a bit, is coming in to do a, uh, a model painting workshop for, uh, for youth as well. 
So education is, uh, and children's programming is quite busy this fall. Marketing, um, in regards to marketing, we had our, obviously, the opening for the um, Powwow Emanations exhibition, and we had over 80 members uh, attend that, and 80 people throughout the, throughout the region. Um, again, in regards to countywide awareness, that's something that is top of mind and part of our marketing plan. <clears throat> and we have been out in the community, uh, in particular, most recently with the Soggy Shores Leisure Fair, uh, getting information out to everyone about the programs that are happening. And our, again, our next exhibition open for uh, the Anishinaabe and Dutt, uh exhibition will be November 3rd. The time is 6 p.m. And a formal invitation will be coming out this week as well. And then the last on this report in regards to action or information items is our programming report. So the Chapter 55, which is the retiree program that we launched with uh, the funding from New Horizons for Seniors, has started. And uh, th there's waiting lists for this program, so it's uh, uh, already proving to be quite successful. Many members of the community are coming in and, and participating in a number of different classes, and this has all been kind of pulled together through the team of people, uh, the retirees themselves, in order to have programming that they are interested in. Hopefully, uh, they'll end up maybe some of these clubs or programs continuing on. Brews and Bites, which is our um, beer tasting, is tonight. So I think that's sold out. Might be one ticket left. And then, of course, we have our After Hours Museum Mixer, <clears throat> which is uh, coming up October 26. And this uh, one is in the form of a burlesque event. So I'm anticipating that we will have lots of interest for that. Okay. And then the Thank you, Kathy. Is, is there any questions <laughs> on any of these information reports? Seeing none, I uh, have a motion that the uh, committee move into a closed meeting to discuss the county archival expansion and the acquisition of property from St. Paul's Church located at 254 High Street, Southampton. <laughs> Can I have a motion to go into closed? <clears throat> by David and second by Anne. Any questions? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, coming out of closed, the item was for information, and uh, I will then go to the Act on Recommendations that in accordance with the procedural bylaw, staff be authorized and directed to give effect to the actions of the Museum Committee in respect of all resolutions passed during the October 4th, 2018 meeting. <coughs> Mover and a shaker. Sorry, Mike and David, all in favor. Thank you. Uh, the next meeting is uh, November the 1st, 2018, and could I have a motion to adjourn, please? And and Bob, thank you all in favor. Thank you, we're adjourned.